What is up, Packer fans, football fans? We are about to start the season. I cannot wait. Welcome from Door County, Wisconsin. I know most of you have probably never been here, but I'm literally in the water, but I wanted to talk football, so here we are. Football starts tomorrow. It has been the long, a long six months. The way the season ended last year for the Packers was less than ideal, um, holding a team to six points on offense and still losing the game because special teams um, at home as a one seed, seed, that's tough. That's a tough way to go out. So this year, off-season moves, you know, we, Rodgers is happy. He's paid. His ayahuasca has him in a good mood. And um, the Packers really, you know, they went out and took care of business after losing Devontae. They were able to s sign uh, Douglas, Campbell. They drafted Wyatt, uh, Walker. And Watson, I guess they only got, uh, I think, uh, Walker and Watson technically in the trade for Devontae. So along with being able to sign those other guys, um, Douglas and, like I said, and Campbell, and going out and getting Jaron Reed, uh, they restructured some other guys. So I'm excited about this Packers team. Um, you know, they have a top three running back tandem probably behind the Cleveland running backs. They have a top 5-0 line if their guys are all healthy. And this defense could be top five too. So looking forward to that. But first we have the, you know, the Buffalo Bills going into L.A. This game could be the game of the week. Um, you know, there's other good games like Dallas and Tampa Bay. But the this is really a Super Bowl contender uh, type matchup. Both the Bills, you know, obviously the Rams won it last year. But repeating is tough. No one's repeated since 03-04. And that was the Patriots. Um, so the chances are they will not repeat. But this is a big game for both of these teams to get off to a 1-0 start. You know, get off on the right foot. For Josh Allen, this is a big season. He was so close last year. The way they lost that game against the Chiefs is I will go down in history as one of the best games in NFL playoff history. So um, really exciting. And just I'm super pumped that most of these games this weekend are huge match matchups for the rest of the season um obviously if the rams come out and lose at home that's a tough way to go and if the bills lose they're already starting behind the eight ball so um a, a lot riding on this first game obviously home field advantage for the rams but the bills are favored so going into week one the bills are favored and that is a big deal so all these jet skiers all over the place but it's pretty flat right here so i they should go find some uh waves but <laughs> that's not for me to say i'm just floating around here and um so i'm super excited to see how this game turns out obviously the first game of the year there's a lot that could happen and there's a lot this game doesn't define anything but for all teams it's important to get off to a fast start the only thing is, is everybody is so high on Josh Allen and not so high on Justin Herbert. And Herbert had 38 touchdowns and 5,000 yards last year. I think he is an MVP candidate, and the Chargers are going to be a team to, uh, you know, kind of a sleeper team that no one's really talking about. You know, I think that defense is much improved, and Herbert is only going to get better. Um, I had to watch out for the Chargers, but everybody's talking about Allen and the Bills. Um, so I think that. Obviously, Allen is good. The team is good. They have a really solid roster, top to bottom. Some issues with their punter. You know, they, they had to release the rookie punter who had a lot of talent, but uh, that's not really a huge piece of the puzzle up there in Buffalo. Uh, it just kind of is a little, a little bit of a distraction, but I don't think it will affect them too much. And this Buffalo team, the way they lost against the Chiefs last year, is a huge blow. Uh, was it, you know, just devastating. Really a huge blow to all of them, their egos, and I think they learn from it and they will come back stronger. But um, there's just a lot of good teams. That AFC West is stacked. The Colts could be really good with Matt Ryan. And, um, you know, I just don't know. I don't know how the Dolphins will be. I don't know how the Patriots will be. I'm not too worried about the Jets and Flacco, but you never know. So we'll see. Um, tomorrow night's game is a big one, obviously, too, for the Rams to get off to a good start. Um, you know, they have the Cardinals and the 49ers in the division, so they're going up against some good teams. And the rest of the NFC has teams, you know, vying for playoff spots. 
there's at least two in each division basically that are you know playoff contending teams and maybe in, and some have three so it'll be interesting to see how it goes tomorrow like i said it's got huge you know a huge impact on the rest of the season to start off strong especially that first game you know in front of the nas national tv in front of the world everybody will be watching everybody's excited about football coming so but the game that we are most excited about is obviously the 325 central time on sunday packers at vikings um at the u.s bank stadium in minneapolis i'm excited just because last year the packers started out week one and they sucked um it was kind of a preseason game for them all at least all the starters they Rodgers hadn't been around for most of training camp. Um, there was off-season stuff with him, uh, the 50-50 retirement, all that was last year, and we just didn't, it's a huge distraction, especially when it's your star quarterback. Um, and then just, you know, a new defensive coordinator, uh, Joe Barry, first year in the system, and it's just a lot of little, little things like that that really can affect a team as you know far as focus and just being all on the same page and just everybody being able to learn the system you have to you know be there to learn it and actually have some time so um that's why this year two in this defensive scheme uh with joe barry and all these guys there's the elite players on all levels of the defense but um mostly just having rogers there all training camp he had time to work with some of these rookies I know they don't play preseason, but all these veterans say that they get more out of these scrimmages with these teams. Um, you know, the, the one with the Saints, those two days, they get way more out of that than they ever do did out of a preseason game because of a, how vanilla the defense plays. So that's a big deal. You know, that's really a um, huge part of this. They don't need those reps. They got enough in out, out of those scrimmages and, you know, the live reps with the team. So... I think these, you know, these Packers are poised for a really good season. Yesterday I was talking about the, the Vikings a little bit, um, offense and defensive side of the ball for the Packers, and so I was kind of uh, talking about the Vikings a little bit. But I did miss, you know, Hicks and, you know, Hend or Kendricks, um, Eric Kendricks, and then Cam Dantzler. And then the guy that I missed the most was... Um, Jalen Rager, obviously they have Jalen Naylor, the kick returner from Michigan State, but Jalen Rager is the guy they traded the Eagles for. And the Eagles, you know, they had Devontae Smith, they had uh, traded for, or they signed A.J. Brown. And so they didn't really need, you know, Jalen Rager has had a troubling career so far. He, as a guy that was drafted so high, he has definitely struggled, um, you know, as the Eagle and in, in the past game, you know, he's had some bright spots, but for the most part, he has struggled. And so now the Vikings have him as a third option at receiver. And as a third option, you know, he's kind of the third option for the Eagles. But with Jalen Hurts, um, you know, more of a running team, the Eagles led the league in rushing yards last year. But, um, yeah, it's just going to be tough. So I think that with Jalen Rager as your number three with Kirk Cousins, you know, that's that's a defen de decent receiving squad uh, with Justin Jefferson, who we all know has the most receiving yards in the first two seasons of anybody in NFL history, uh, surpassing Randy Moss's 98-99 record um, in the first two years. And Jamar Chase may break uh, Justin Jefferson's, but for now, Justin Jefferson has that record. And so along with Adam Thielen, who's just a savvy, you know, route runner, and then um, you want to add a young, talented, I think he was a first-round pick, Jalen Rager. Um, you know, that's that's a decent, decent receiving core. So only thing is, is the Packers have three super elite, well, one super elite, two, is, two are super good um, corners and really good safeties and fast linebackers. So... Um, I don't think it's going to be enough for the Vikings, especially with Kirk Cousins, who's good for, you know, a, a few turnovers. And Dalvin Cook's solid, but, you know, we focus up front on the run. We got some big bodies with, you know, Kenny Clark and Devontae Wyatt and um, Jaron Reed now. So it's going to be tough to run against these Packers, and it's going to be tough to throw against these Packers. It's going to be tough to have time to throw with um, Walker and 
Preston Smith and Rashawn Gary rushing the quarterback. And it's just going to be and Kenny Clark pushing in the middle. And then once you even try to throw it, it's going to be a no-fly zone, like I keep saying. Um, Jair Alexander's back. That's huge. He was gone for so much of the year last year, and he's really – um, one of the top corners in the league, and he's going to show everybody that he truly deserves the money he got. He is the highest paid now. And then, you know, Douglas was Pro Bowl. He's going to prove that he wasn't just a one-hit wonder or one-year wonder. And then Eric Stokes is going to take another leap forward as a, you know, second-year cornerback with ridiculous speed and talent. But like Roger says, he just has to catch the ball, and this guy will be a Pro Bowl player because he – knows what he's doing, he breaks on the ball, he's starting to really learn what the offense is trying to do, and you know he's anticipates the throws. So if you can start catching it, kind of like Darnell Savage, who also is a game, you know, game breaker, but he has to catch the ball. He's such a ball hawk, but he doesn't always come up with the interception. So I think this season is going to be a huge one for this Packers defense. They have never really, um, in years, haven't had a solid, as a group, a, a solid as group as this, just because you know every level defense, um, every level of the defense, you know the defensive line, the linebackers, the secondary safeties, they're all just stacked. They have Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl, or All Pro players on every single level, and you know that's not always the case. Like I said, so this is the year. Um, Every, you know, I think there's a lot of contracts that come up at the end of this season, and obviously we're going to have to pay Rashawn Gary, and I think guys like Amos and um, come up for contract, and there's a lot of other guys as well. So this is a big season. Um, Rodgers, obviously, he's kind of up in the air whether he's going to keep playing after this year. I think he will one more after this year. Um, if they won the Super Bowl, maybe not, but I think if they won the Super Bowl, there's a lot of changes that will be made. Um, just because guys are getting old and they want to move on and do other things. So I'm trying to spin around so it's not so bright for me. Hold on one second. Yep, there we go. <laughs> but this is so nice out here. It really is pretty, and I just wanted to talk. Just a quick update because we are getting so close, and I am so excited for uh, week one here. Um, it's just been a long wait, and I forget failed to mention those other guys yesterday, and I'm just like, oh, man, those are some big pieces the Vikings got. You know, and I remember, you know, Cam Dantzler, he's just a savvy, savvy player, still young, but that, you know, Jalen Rager could really be a huge piece for these Vikings. Um, you know, on defense, they have, like I said, those linebackers, Hicks and Kendricks, and um, up front, you know, there's guys that, you know, I think Harrison Phillips or something like that, maybe I, I mixed two of their names together and created one guy, but there's a bowler too. Um, so this Vikings defense is, oh, Tomlinson. I think he's on the D-line, Dalvin Tomlinson. So, you know, they're not going to be as good on defense without Zimmer, but I think they still have a solid core of defense, defensive guys. And now with an offensive coach, they might, if you can get Cousins to kind of stop making those, you know, three or four mistakes a game and just really turn him into a more dynamic quarterback, kind of like Stafford was last year, this Vikings team could be really good. But I just think the Packers are going to be too good on both sides of the ball, and it's just going to be a struggle all season. So um, I can't wait. I know you guys are excited. I'm super excited. Uh <laughs> trying to relax here before the season starts because it is going to be intense and hopefully we're busy until uh, that first or second week of February talking about the Packers and I can't wait. I hope you guys are excited. This season is going to be great. Um, Rodgers could potentially be MVP for the third season in a row. The Packers could uh, have two guys, one guy on offensive rookie of the year conversation. Well, Christian Watson, I think he might come on a little slow. I think Dobbs is going to be in the conversation for rookie of the year, uh, offensive rookie of the year. And then on the defensive side of the ball, I think Quay Walker has a really good chance of being in the conversation for defensive rookie of the year. Um, Devontae Wyatt, I think, is going to get some playing time, but I think he's going to come on a little slow as well. I think Walker's going to be in there a lot, and he's going to really get a chance to uh, make a Pro Bowl with him in uh, Devondre Campbell. I think they both ha are Pro Bowl 
players this year. They, they could be. So that would be crazy. I don't know if that's ever happened. And then having two running backs who want to be in the Pro Bowl too, I don't think um, that's ever happened either. Well, I think it's happened. So I know it's happened actually with like Mike Allistott and work done. But um, it'd be nice to see uh, the Packers do it with A.J. Dillon and um, Aaron Jones. So I'm super pumped. Uh, obviously, this offensive line could be really good. This defensive line could be really good. There's just so many pieces to this team that I really, really am excited about, and I hope you guys are too. Um, football starts tomorrow. We will pro I'll probably do a prediction for tomorrow video. Um, I just can't stop talking about football. I can't. I'm just so excited, and uh, we're getting there. We're getting there, and I got to get this fantasy stuff going. So I got to go figure out where I got the best service around here, so I don't uh, miss out and. I'm going to do some updates on where our, what kind of team I have and uh, who I'm projecting this year to really uh, be standout players. So um, I'm everything Packers, but I love talking football in general too. So we're going to do it all, uh, try to just keep as much content and talk as much football as I can just because I really think what I, what, I, what I know and what I predict, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been so, so close and so good at doing all this for years and everything. And you know, I should put my money where my mouth is and try to try to bet and try to make money. But I'm more just excited about talking about it. I don't like putting so much stress on it. I like having fun with it, and that's kind of why I never really got into that part of it. But I just um, really enjoy the whole just strategy and camaraderie and, you know, all the, the fandom, all the exciting fans that get so pumped about their teams and, you know, the rivalries and everybody who just, you know, they support their team so much and, um all the anticipation and excitement everybody has going into the season it's just um, such an exciting exciting time for football fans and you know football fan non-football fans don't really get it you know i have a lot of i know people that just don't like i can't believe you guys can watch football for that long but you know that's how it is and we all ones who are really into it you know love it and it's a long like i said a long six months waiting for the season to start but we are here it is time uh, kick off tomorrow well the Rams and the uh, Buffalo Bills I think you know I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick the Rams at home I know the Buffalo Bills are favored but I think this Rams team is gonna be really good and you know I, I hate to say it but I still kind of still kind of have question marks about this Bills team um, Josh Allen just being consistent completely consistent constantly you know I know he's just he's got he's an immense talent but just a little more consistency but otherwise yeah I'm calling Rams as much as I want I'd prefer the Bills to win just because anytime it helps the uh and it helps the Packers if an NFC team loses it helps the Packers so I usually try to vote or root for any team that helps the Packers um <laughs> so maybe I'll root for the Bills but I predict the Rams win but um, either way, it's going to be an exciting game. So hopefully, um, you know, season goes off without a bang or without a, any issues with for the Packers and everything. Um, I haven't heard any updates yet on Alan Lazard except for the one yesterday. I think he should be fine, should be good to go. And otherwise, um, no real word yet on Jenkins or Bakhtiari. I will check um, what kind of what they're talking about. You know, there should be a lot of updates here um, Wednesday, Thursday, um, leading up to Sunday. Uh, yeah, this is week one for real, week one prep. Um, we're going to have a lot of information coming here soon, and the game will be here before we know it. I can't wait. Hope you guys are excited, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and check out other videos, and I'll check you next time. Peace out. I'm going to try not to drop this phone in the water. Uh, go Packers, and... Yeah, go uh, NFL. Go, I think, uh, go Bills. Damn it. <laughs> well, whatever. All right, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.